Hello, everyone. Lydia Lee here, and I'm so very excited to interview one of my 90 Day Launch students and super awesome community member, Jen Roy. Um, thank you for having this conversation with me to share your story about building the path to the meaningful business that you have today. Um, thank you, Jen, for being here. Yeah, I'm I'm honored to be here. Uh, very happy to be here and um, and share the journey and really sing the praises of the the 90 day <laughs> launch group. And it has been quite a journey, isn't it? And I've witnessed a lot of those ups and downs of building a business. And, you know, part of me wanting to have you here today is to share what it's like, you know, to go from fuzzy idea or like, I think this is the thing I really want to do to where you are now, which is a little closer and much clearer, right? In sort of what yes. is that purposeful work and how does that lead to how I'm even operating in a business? Because it's never just about what I want to do, but how I want to share this work, right? What's sort of my story around this work, which I think you've done such a brilliant job in uh, articulating, in being vulnerable on things like social media to share some of the hard, hard topics that, mm -hmm. you know, your niche is around. Um, so I just mm -hmm. want to start to jam about, you know, what it's been like to grow as a business owner and what's been powerful, right? For you to learn to build the business that you have today. Um, but let's start with people knowing more about your business, like who you help, what you help with, and why you're passionate to do this work. Sure, sure. Uh, right now, so uh, when I say right now, we'll find out that I've gone through different phases of focus. <laughs> and so currently, uh, who I serve are people who are struggling either within a toxic or abusive relationship, or they are struggling to get over one. And what do you specifically help them to do that you think would be really hard to do on their own? And has this been something that obviously you've been going through, you've been experiencing, mm -hmm. that's part of your story that is informing the roadmap, if you will, or the steps that are, you know, I'm sure there's no clear and hard and fast rule of how people get over a toxic relationship, right. <laughs> but there might be some concepts of philosophies that have been pulled from your own experience that you're sort of building a framework around in your business. How it is that I, what I'm delivering to my audience and to my clients or potential clients is that I get how difficult it can be to stay a, out of the situation or to be out of it and then not be able to stop thinking about it or going back to the situation. Because if you're not in it or you haven't experienced it, then you can so easily think that it's such an easy thing to to not engage with anymore right mm. on the surface it looks like wow this person is treating you terribly so why don't you just you know stay away from them right and i'm sure that even if even if someone who's watching this video now maybe they have a friend who continued to go back to you know a shitty relationship and it just got exhausting having to hear about it oh my god you're going back now you're back together going oh, okay here we go again but really I think that what I provide is an, a space that that um, has understanding. Like I get it. I'm not going to judge you if you are engage, continuing to engage in this. I understand that these re relationships can create rumination, which can really keep you locked in the situation, even if you're not with the person. You're energetically still in it. So it's it's really being able to give them the 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 space to to just admit the truth that they're still you know locked in the cycle and also the space to be able to heal in a non-judgmental environment which really truly what it is that i do is just lead them back to themselves they just come home to themselves again they come home to their bodies they discover a way to feel safe in themselves again and be able to trust that they can make decisions that are in their best interest because they've lost that in these relationships. Yeah, I think it's also so important to work with someone like you that is has gone through, right? How it feels yes, like that yes, shame, right? Right, the shame, because not everyone can understand that nuance of like, it's not that simple of right. a position. And I think your life story, which you've been so brave and honest to share mm. on social, which, you know, as we're speaking today, just a couple, you know, a, a, a few weeks ago, you had uh, an amazing viral video on TikTok uh, yes. around, um, right, sort of trauma bonding. Uh, that is yes. now what, at over 2 million views, right? The last right. time I checked, 
check. 2.2 2 million. You know, 2.2 2 million yeah. views. I mean, yes. honesty and transparency and realness, I think, really mm -hmm. translates so much uh, in today's world that really leads to visibility of not just your cause that you're doing with your work, but also the business that you're building so that more people get to know not just your steps of how to get to results, but really the fact, as you say, right, the understanding, the non-judgmental zone, um, the safe space that you're not, uh, you're with someone that truly understands the yes. crazy, you know, battle that might be happening in your brain, right? your confidence around this business wasn't like where it is today, where you can get on TikTok no. and, you know, sort of do a very opinionated video no. about your topic. So I kind of want to talk about the before reality of your world and your business, like pre, you know, 90 yes. day launch before we worked right. together, before you came into the community. Like what, what, yeah. what do you think brought you to feel like you needed support and yeah. what were you most stuck on in the beginning, like of time mm. in your business? Yeah, yeah. So in the beginning, I was not confident that I already had the skills necessary to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. So I felt really unsure of myself. I asked myself questions like, who am I to, you know, who am I to ask for money from someone to, you know, to help them? Because I don't have any big credentials behind oh, after my name or I don't I don't have advanced degrees. Um, I mean, I have an associate's degree that has nothing to do with the work that I'm doing. Um, so I really felt like I didn't have enough of what it took. And um, I wasn't actually really sure what I should be doing in terms of what's my focus here? What's my niche? And how do we even find that? And so mm -hmm. I knew that, you know, from knowing you, Lydia, for, for many years and working with you in different capacities, I already knew that you talked about that a lot. And so I knew that I already knew that that was something that 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 you provided me on a on a one to one basis. But I also knew that I was really missing also being in rooms with people who were also taking the entrepreneurship uh, journey and 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 how beneficial that would be to me to be able to connect with people who were also doing that because I I was surrounded by people who were just in nine to fives and you know it's it's not that they can't support me but it's just it wasn't the same. So I had a lot of stuff going on there. I, I wasn't sure of my niche. I wasn't confident that I actually already had the skills. You know, like I thought that I couldn't really make moves until I had like a credential of some sort or maybe a degree or just something else. Um, and then I, I was lacking the community support. And um, and that's what led me. Well, actually, no, I mean, it was it was actually you, Lydia, identifying that I could benefit from the group. And I remember this very vividly that you sent me an email asking me, hey, would you like to participate in this this group offer that I think would be absolutely perfect for you? And thankfully, because we don't all read our emails, but I read your email and I responded to it and I found out about it. And so, you know, thank you for for thinking of me and offering me the gift of what this mm. this group has been yeah and it's been so good for you to offer the gift right back that's a great little ecosystem we <laughs> have right in the in the community like you talked about not feeling good enough uh you know like enough in the sense of readiness right or, or what you yeah. believe was readiness which was right. all the little you know alphabets after your name that in the real world or what we think in the real world, people sort of respect and only yeah. want to work with people with a therapeutic yes. background and things like that, which obviously you've also upskilled in a lot of ways in the last several years. But yeah. in order to yeah. start, just even knowing that as someone going through those things, someone that has read about those things, someone that's gotten therapy around those things, right? That arms you with a sort of school of hard knocks, right? To yeah. do this work in a very different approach, right? It's not to say that your, your clients wouldn't see a therapist and have trauma counselors around them, but you're one resource of potential many resources that can really support them in getting to that outcome. And 
as other students in the 9D launch community see you, you know, transition from not ready enough to feeling, not even feeling like believing <laughs> that I'm ready enough to the capacity I'm willing to help yes. allowed you to get out there and talk about this work, which is so important to invite yes. the right people. We're not talking about it constantly waiting for things to be ready. It'll be 20 years later. And then, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that feeling never really goes away anyway, such an internal narrative, right, that we have around yeah. readiness. Yes. Um, now, that being said, you know, what what do you think has been, you know, through, I know you've learned a lot of things <laughs> to become a business owner and to trust yourself yeah. and to trust yes. you know, your instincts, but what are some of the sort of like highlight reel, you know, from your business building journey uh, that you think has been like the most valuable thing for you to learn personally, maybe on a business level of like what you, how you define business success, right? Uh, to help you kind of craft what you think is the the right business for you, not for any other coach mm. out there, but something that feels yeah. like you feels, you know, like your personality. Um, and, and how do you think being a part of, you know, a community like 90 day launch supported you in crafting that kind of business? Okay. So I would say that the highlights have been, um, realizing that slow, the slow burn is, is okay. And actually, um, I really got to know that the slow burn is okay because of the viral video thing, because I was completely unprepared for the amount of demand that I got in relation to that. So, so looking back, you know, getting a few clients here and there and not having a calendar that exploded was actually really good for me because it gave me time to figure out systems and it gave me time to think about like oh do do i like the way i'm doing this do i is there ways that i that i could improve this and and it is so being able to be patient really right. was was a highlight for me because it it really paid off um being able to be consistent really paid off um so you know the highlights really were like i started out with no website um, I, I think I created maybe a link tree. So, you know, getting to the point where I actually put in all the time to build my website and then, you know, implement other types of systems that, you know, like a calendaring and email marketing. And so, but again, I'm going back to the slow burn, getting to the point where I had enough clientele where I really felt like, okay, my I have a process I'm seeing here, like being able to, to being able to see that there is a pattern that I am seeing in my clients. And I think you've talked about this before. I'm able to really see because I've talked to enough people, I can see pain points and I can see a repetition and okay, this is what people are struggling with. And so therefore now I feel like, okay, this is where I can speak more confidently about what I'm doing because now I really have that evidence and that really takes having more conversations. So building up that confidence to have the conversations. And then of course the highlight of actually, you might even remember me saying how, how intimidated I was by doing videos and reels. Yes, <laughs> I really was, I knew nothing about it. And now it's like, now people in the group come to me for advice on reels. So, so getting to the point where I felt like I had, you know, no, I have something, I have, I have something to offer here and I'm going to say it anyway. And, you know, whether someone likes it or not, you know, I know that my people will find me. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So, you know, going from not being even sure what I'm talking about to having a whole website dedicated to what I'm talking about to having tons of videos dedicated to what I'm talking about to having a video go viral, you know, and I'm proud to say that this month is my very first 10 K month. Woo! So January yes. 2023, my fit, my first 10 K month that I Amazing. started in September of 2021. And so, so to, to go back to how 90 day launch helped me with all of that. Oh my God. I mean, where do I start? You know, because I have, it's not having conversations where I can work out what I'm struggling with 
is has been just invaluable, not only to get coaching from you, but also to get input from others in the group. And it's not even just input. I have done, I can't even count how many of the members that I've collaborated with, you know, to do different projects or, you know, to be interviewed on their podcast. Um, so it's, it's such a nurturing environment. And even some people, you know, if I'm looking for a thing, they might know about the thing or they know somebody. So being able to be of assistance uh, to, to assist with certain pain points and to have certain community members have been, have become real friends. And that's like, that's priceless. Absolutely totally. priceless. So the 90 day launch community has absolutely helped me to raise my confidence level around the work that I do, because I know that the feedback that I get in that group is not just a bunch of people blowing smoke up my ass. They are, they actually mean what they say. So if, if they say that, you know, what I'm doing is working, that it's exciting, that it's valuable. Um, I know that they really mean it. I know I'm getting truthful feedback. And so all of that, I, you know, I honestly, I think it's been such an important part of my journey that I really don't know. I really don't think my business would be as far along as it is if I didn't have that, that space to go to in 90 day launch. It's been, I mean, I really don't have words to describe what it's meant to me, Lydia. It's so much more than just knowledge about business. It's, it's so yeah. much more than that. Mm. It, it's, it's such a powerful thing, isn't it? To have people root for your success, for people to yes. help pick you up when you don't feel like going again. Right. Uh, yes. and that's, I think why I've made this community evergreen and lifetime, because I do believe, yes. you yes. know, we need each other, not just for the launch, you know, like we're always launching right. something in the sense of launching our next topic, launching something new, right. In some capacity. Yes. And just to have a, a community we can come back to and share, it's like a Montessori school. It's like the older kids help the younger yes. kids, you know, and like, it, it's such a beautiful, and, and and you teaching your wisdom back, you know, helps you to remember as well what you've done, you know, what you've accomplished. And there's something really yeah. beautiful about um, helping yourself from a year ago, who is someone else that's coming into the group, right? So yes, I am yes. so grateful for you and the members of you know, the community that hold the space where I'm not the only one with all the answers, but actually everybody has their beautiful approach perspective. And that's what we need is not just one perspective is several people that have, you know, different ways of looking in the world, right. To say, Hey, that resonated, that needs to be clearer. Uh, and that helpfulness of being a container for you to bounce those ideas off people to begin with, I think that really helps to sort of go, you know what, I, I can trust that this, this is something important to put out there because I've not just talked to myself about it. I've talked to other humans right. who are smart, intelligent, you know, meaning, you know, purposeful people that have helped me believe that this is an important message yes. or topic to share. And I think that makes all the difference of the hours you might wait waste ruminating whether or not you should do that thing. <laughs> Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's just the support is just, it's, it's just absolutely priceless. And I know I keep repeating that word, but it's the sharing that happens in the group. It's, it's whatever is said, just magically. And I know it's not magical. It's because of the container that you, you know, the curated container that you know, you have picked this, the people in the group. And then because of that, whenever someone shares something, I, I mean, I would say like 99% of the time, it somehow reflects back to something I might be going through too. Mm. So it's, it's just, it's so resonant every time. We all support one another, cheer for one another, understand each other, go out of our way to listen to each other, um, and, and it, even if it's not positive feedback, it's still constructive. It's still, you know, said out of love and is provides hope and inspiration instead of like, Oh, I fucked up. You know, it's not like that at all. It's, it's just, it really is 
it really is amazing. And, and, and like I've said before, I'll say it again, is that I, as, I aspire to create a community like what you've done. So I want to. to hear. That's a goal. Yeah. Yes. And, and you're on, I mean, you have been building a beautiful community of people that are the right community, you know, to support each other. I know you have so many cool mini projects. We won't say them on the mm, air because yeah. we want them to come into fruition. Um, yes, yes. And I know com community is such a big part of your business. Um, and talking about community, I want more people who believe that, you know, you could be a resource for themselves, for others, for people they love, uh, that is, that are going through some of the problems that you help to, um, support. I, I want to end this interview with where people can find you, uh, and do more with you and learn more about some of the things that you're really passionate about. Um, do you want to share maybe like a resource, your website, anything that people can find you on the World Wide Web uh, so they can connect with you after this? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I, I don't think I mentioned that my name is Jen, but I chose a pseudonym, which is Tully Rose for the business. And so I can be found at TullyRose.com. And um, on that page, there is an option to take quizzes and to book a call with me. I know that your audience, you know, if you're watching this, you might not know me at all, but uh, I invite you to connect with me on social media, which is also available through the website or take a quiz, just get to know, you know, are you in an abusive relationship or are you a people pleaser? Um, and, uh, connect with me. You can send me a message. It's very easy. I reply to my emails. I reply to my social media messages. Um, and I'm a, I'm free and available for questions and feedback. And I know that you uh, are one of those people that actually do check all the DMs and you really care about every question that comes up. So you will really get to Jen. You will really get to Jen. You really, <laughs> just like I do you as really well. will. I really do reply. Yeah. Yes. Just yes. like I know you do. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing your journey and your story. I am such a proud mama bear uh, of all the, the the huge things you've been doing. And this is a big year for you. And I'm so glad you started 2023 with a 10K month, which is the seed for the rest of the year. So thank yes. you for being a part of the community, for coming here and sharing your story. Um, more big things are coming. Yes, they are. Thank you, Lydia. Thanks, Jen.